Hey, so this is Professor Yomet, and again, we're going to talk about histograms. Um, but in this video, we're going to look at some World Health Organization data, just like we did last time. Um, and when looking at quantitative data, we need to be able to describe not only the shape, which we did in the last video, but the center and the spread. Okay, those three things describe a histogram. All right? And so in the previous video, we looked basically at the shape and how the bin size affects shape. So in the video we are focusing on in this video, we're going to focus on the center and spread, okay? And specifically, when is it better to report the median and IQR, and when is it better to use the mean and the standard deviation? Um, and so uh, here's that World Health Organization data. But instead of looking at the data we looked at last time, let's look at the birth of female data, okay? And so I'm going to go over here to Applet, and again, I really encourage you to do this. If you're a professor and you want your students to get a better understanding of this, um, this is a great tool. If you're a student and you want to get a better understanding of it, you know, pick some data and play around with this. And I'm going to go down to Mean Standard Deviation versus Median IQR. And when I click on it, I actually want to load um, that birth of female data. And I actually want to see the standard deviation and the IQR in those statistics. Everything else, though, you can leave um, as is. So I'm going to click Compute, and I get this uh, lovely looking graph here. And again, I'm going to make it about the same size as um, my viewing window, so you can get a good picture of it. And so here it is. And as you can see, the mean is about 72.3 where the median is about 76. So these are kind of far apart. You can see, right, here's the mean. It's being pulled over to the left. Here's the median, which is closer to really the center of the data. Well, why is the mean getting pulled to the left? Well, it's getting pulled to the left because of this data point over here, the 47. The mean is going to get pulled in the direction of the tail. The other thing that's going to happen is the standard deviation is almost 10 um, and the reason that is that uh, blue bar right here that goes from it uh, looks like about what is that 63 so it looks like about 62 all the way up to about 82 right because it's about 10 years um, that blue bar right there represents the spread of typical values as measured by the standard deviation that's kind of big okay and and it's because of this left skew. Now watch what happens when I grab this point right here and I pull it over toward the center. Can you see that green uh, bar moving right? I'm going to grab that point and I'm going to pull it and it comes over. And now all of a sudden, instead of being 72.3, it's 72.5. And you're like, well, why is that? Well, because it's a little less skewed to the left. And so now the mean is getting closer to the median as this becomes uh, more symmetric and so let me grab these four guys over here and just bring them uh, bring them over right over here so that it's a little less um, left skewed right and now you can see the mean is 73 and the standard deviation has gone down uh, about a full year down to 9 and you're like well why is that well the mean is still below the median because of the left skew, um, but now it's less skewed to the left. And so now as I start bringing these guys over here, right, um, and making sure that they're uh, a little bit more symmetric, now you can see that the mean is almost 74. It's getting really close to the median, and the standard deviation is... Um, almost two years smaller than it was before. And I could keep doing this process, right? So here, when the data is skewed to the left like this, the median and the IQR are actual better measures of center because they are resistant to outliers, okay? The median and the IQR are resistant to outliers and skewness. So that's the best measure when you have those kinds of things, all right? Now, let's go ahead and instead of using the um, data, let's, let's look at the male data. I can't remember which one was more normal. Ah, see, you can see this one is a lot more normal. The mean is a lot closer to the median, 
It is still a little bit left skewed. I think the male 60 data. Yeah, this was the one, right? So let me go ahead and make this the right size of the screen so you can really see it, right? Now this one is actually skewed to the right, but it's just slightly skewed, right? It's 77.9 versus 77. And that's because of these, uh, you know, old guys right here, the 84 year old and the 87 year old. Watch what happens when I grab that 87 year old and I pull him over here toward the median. Look, it well, it moved a little bit, but that's because there's a 194 data points here, right? Let me grab this other guy and pull him over. And now you can see it's getting a lot closer. And so now if I start pulling some of these guys over, right, the mean and the median are going to get really close together. I wanted it to look a little bit more normal, so I'm grabbing some of the other um, stacks so that you get that nice um, normal looking uh, distribution here right and so it's still a little skewed to the right but look at just by moving a few of the points by making it look more normal now the mean and the median are really close together um, and so uh, when you have data that looks like this then the mean is probably better and the standard deviation okay and so what we're gonna say is um, the mean and the standard deviation are not resistant to outliers. So when it's symmetric, and oh, not that. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, so it is the best measure when data is symmetric. Right? So this is the best measure when data is um, symmetric, right? So just a few things to keep in mind as I finish up this video. The mean always goes with the standard deviation, okay? The median always goes with the IQR. The mean and the IQR are resistant to outliers and skewness. And so, um, so these are the best measures when those are present. Oops, I misspelled measures. Look at that. Okay, fixed it. Um, and then, of course, the mean and the standard deviation is not. So it's only the best measure when the data is symmetric. All right? And so hopefully you now understand when to use the median and IQR and when to use the mean and standard deviation when you're describing the shape, center, and spread of a histogram. And if you can do that from this video, that makes us very happy.